this. This, this comment right here. If I had even a dime for every time this comment popped up on any one of our accessory videos, uh, well, I, I'd, I'd be able to do YouTube full time. I make it right, I make it right, I'm in this bitch. Today, we're gonna debunk the myth that if you do a modification to your Tesla, or any car for that matter, that it will void your warranty. Because, well, it's, it's just not true. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Unfortunately, there's this wide sweeping myth that if you do any modification to your car, and it doesn't necessarily matter if it's Tesla or if you're talking about a combustion car, if you do any modification to it, then you're just voiding the warranty for your car. Let me know down below about an upgrade or a modification that you've been thinking about doing to your car, but haven't because you're concerned about losing the warranty. I'm just curious to see what type of upgrades everybody's waiting to do because they're just afraid of that warranty issue. Now, I understand why this is a really big concern for Tesla owners specifically. Things like battery packs are insanely expensive to replace if you have to do it out of warranty. But unfortunately, those myths, it's not actually true per se. <laughs> Now, there are circumstances where it could be true, but for the most part, you're free to make modifications to your vehicle without having to worry about canceling out your warranty. This is all something that's protected by what's called the Magnuson Moss Act. Now, this is a full law that was approved by Congress to protect consumers in these exact situations. Now, the Magnuson Moss Act has a whole lot of legal details to it, and I'm gonna do my best kind of MKBHD impression of giving a good explanation, at least as, as good of one as I can. Let's get into the details of it so that way you kind of understand it. So the Magnuson Moss Act was originally created to protect you, the consumer, from being trapped into always having to use manufacturer-specific parts to repair your car. Let me give you an example. Let's take, um, uh, let's take my truck for example. Oil changes, they're easy to do, right? Most people can do an oil change yourself at home in your own driveway. Let's say I opt to do an oil change on my truck, but rather than go and purchase the Chevy specific recommended oil filter, I go and buy a cheaper alternative version, maybe made by Advanced Auto, let's say, not a sponsor of the video. Then let's say three, four months down the road from that oil change, all of a sudden something goes on my exhaust. Now, my exhaust has nothing to do with the oil change, but while Chevy is inspecting my truck, they see the oil filter that I use that's not the recommended one from Chevy. If the Magnuson Moss Act didn't exist, Chevy would be able to come to me and say, well, 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 you used a different oil filter, so well, I'm afraid your warranty is no longer valid. You're gonna have to shell out for that new exhaust system. The Magnuson Moss Act says, no, 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 you can't do that. I'm entitled to make repairs to my car and make changes to the car. And you still have to warranty the parts that the changes that I made do not impact. In the oil filter example, me changing the oil filter and using a different brand of oil filter had nothing to do with the exhaust. Therefore, it didn't impact it and it didn't cause the reason for the fault in the exhaust. So my warranty is still intact. Now, let's say that rather than something going wrong with the exhaust, let's say something went wrong with the transmission. If Chevy can prove that me using their non-branded oil filter had something to do with the reason why the transmission failed, well, now it's a different story. Now, Chevy wouldn't have to honor the warranty for the transmission because they can prove that a modification I did that was out of their normal spec caused a failure in a part. Therefore, they don't really have to warranty that. And that, that I think kind of makes sense. But if something completely different with the car were to break, they still have to honor that warranty. So just because I make a change to the suspension in my car and I put in the unplugged performance luxury coilover set to improve the overall ride of my Tesla Model Y, something goes wrong with my battery, one doesn't have anything to do with the other. So Tesla still has to honor the warranty for my battery. Unless they were able to find some cockamamie way of proving that this, the change in my suspension caused the fault in the battery, but 
That's like impossible. Challenge accepted. Now, this doesn't mean that auto shops out there, particularly Tesla, won't try to do this. Companies like Tesla absolutely will. As a matter of fact, there was this comment that just popped up not too long ago on one of the videos that we did where a Tesla mobile service technician actually told this person that doing this modification was gonna void their entire warranty. It's just not true. Now, if the modification you did caused the fault, then obviously they don't have to warranty it. Or like in my suspension example, let's say something goes wrong with my unplugged performance suspension, obviously Tesla's not gonna warranty the suspension. Why would they? It's not theirs. I replaced it with a different manufacturer's part. Obviously in those cases, yes, it, it might void your warranty on that specific part that you changed out. Or if the part you changed out caused the fault of the part that did go wrong. But just because you make modifications to your car doesn't mean that you're forfeiting your warranty. For those of you that like to get into the, the, the meat and the potatoes, the details of the Magnuson Moss Act, and you wanna see kind of the legalese behind it all, there was a great video that was done and put on YouTube by somebody who was interviewing an attorney who specializes in auto situations and the Magnuson Moss Act, and he did a great job explaining all the intricacies of the act and how it applies and when it doesn't apply. If I can find that video again, I'll go ahead and I'll drop a link to that down in the description below. But for the most part, just because you make a small modification to your car doesn't mean you're forfeiting the full warranty on it. For example, if you change out your steering wheel to the yoke, it doesn't mean that your battery is no longer going to be protected. So what does all this mean? Well, basically this means you're free to go ahead and modify away. Modify to your heart's content. Oh yeah! You do need to be aware there are some situations where, like we said, that modification might cause your warranty to change a little bit. Obviously, if you change the steering wheel, you can't expect Tesla to continue to warranty a steering wheel that they didn't issue. But I feel like that kind of falls under common sense. If you wanna go ahead and you wanna change out your dashboard cover, you don't have to worry about killing the warranty on your battery. If you're still nervous about making a bigger modification to your Tesla, like let's say the coilover suspension or the tail lights or, or, or any type of major modification to it, and you're concerned that Tesla or the manufacturer is going to argue and fight with you down the road, then a great way to kind of combat that would be to use the services of a professional to do those modifications. For example, Joe and his team over at Evolution Autosports, Joe has gone toe to toe with Tesla specifically before. I come with upwards of 20 years of dealership experience for a manufacturer and I know the drill. Oh, if you do that, your warranty is going to be void and I can tell you clear as day that it will not void the warranty of the vehicle. I've gone at it toe to toe with a Tesla dealer for, you know, a, a client we installed a Hancho power trunk and she had an issue with a 12 volt battery and they tried to blame that. And I, I called the Tesla but and said, look, this is, this is not going to happen like this. <laughs> right. So, you know, I started talking back with technical knowledge and next thing you know, she's got it covered under warranty. So. so in situations where you're doing a big modification and you're concerned that it may have a ripple effect down the road, just use a professional service to do the modification. If you're interested in the service of Evolution Autosports because they're absolutely amazing and specialize in EVs specifically and you live somewhere in the Northeast, I'll go ahead and I'll drop their information down in the description below as well. You can reach out to them because you know anything that they do, they're gonna back it up all the way regardless of what Tesla says or any EV manufacturer for that matter. The Magnuson Moss Act will help you and protect you from being able to make changes to the car that you wanna make. After all, you're the one paying the bill for it. You should be able to make some modifications to it if you want to. Hopefully you found this video helpful and maybe it convinced you to go ahead and make some more modifications to your car that maybe you were thinking you weren't going to do because of that. Make sure to smash that like button on the video. And while you're down there, right next to that like button, there's a subscribe button. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. We would greatly appreciate it. And it, it always helps to support the channels. And don't forget that the Tesla referral program, it's back, baby. The Tesla referral program will enable you to get money off of your Tesla and make it even a little bit cheaper. And then the person whose referral code you're using, well, they're gonna get a little kickback from Tesla too. So if you know somebody who has a Tesla, reach out to them, ask them for the referral code. You save money, they get a kickback. If you don't know anybody that has a Tesla, we'll drop ours down in the description below. You're more than welcome to use it. It supports the channel and you'll save some money. Just make sure to get every little advantage you can.
Speaking of awesome modifications, if you want to see a video about how we upgraded our suspension in our Tesla Model Y, go ahead and click that video right there. If you want to check out the last video we did, go ahead and click that right there. Thanks as always for watching, guys, and we'll see you in another one real soon.